Well, welcome to Light of the Southwest. I'm Amy Cooper, and I'm here with a guest that many of you have been saying, when are you going to get this woman back? Dr. Rebecca Thomas from right here in Midland, Odessa. Thank you so much. Near and dear to my heart because you saved my mama's life. The yeah. Lord did that, but I got to be in on it, so that was good. Well, you were you. like more than just in on it. You. What do you do, Rebecca? There are going to be people out here in mm -hmm. the audience who are not familiar with you, and they're okay. certainly not familiar with what you practice. So well, tell us about you. Okay. I'm a naturopathic doctor, which means I work with disease in a natural way. I prescribe no medicines. I only use natural things and diet changes and sometimes lifestyle. If someone has an emotional problem that is causing them to be ill, sometimes they just need to make a change in their life, whether it's exercise or find a hobby or a new friend that makes them laugh or whatever. But I work with disease in a natural way. And my specialty is iridology and sclerology, which is the study of the iris and the white of the eye. And those things, the iris and the sclera, are actually part of the brain. They reveal what the brain knows about us. And your brain monitors and controls everything in the body. It's the main computer that runs the body. And what it knows about us is encrypted and information in the eyes. And some really brilliant people over the years, which I got to learn from, I'm not one of them, but I got to learn from them, <laughs> have researched all of this. And we know now how to read that information. There's genetic information from the mother and the dad, so you can see what runs in the family. You can tell what the person is developing of those problems. And then also, new problems that may just have come up in their life show in the eyes. It's a fascinating study. It blows me away every day. So your eye is almost like a little computer chip. It's a computer screen. Uh -huh. that, that shows everything. What about mm -hmm. traumas that have happened to you? Definitely. You can see broken bones. In fact, when I first started iridology, I had a man come to me and he was totally skeptical, which I respect because I was too at first. He said, I've broken five bones. Can you tell me which five? And they all showed. There was a rib. There was a hand break. He had broken one of the vertebrae. It, was, it all showed in his eyes. And I was as impressed as he was. <laughs> <laughs> but they really do. Hit knocks on the head have a special marking. You can see if somebody had a really hard bump, even if it wasn't a concussion. You can see whiplash in the eyes. Really? Mm -hmm. What about miscarriages? I haven't seen miscarriages, but you can see how the ovaries and the uterus are formed and the likelihood of miscarriage. And you can see endometriosis, cystic ovaries, the likelihood of tumors. There are markings for different types of tumors. So whether it's a fibroid tumor, which is harmless but aggravating, or if it's a dangerous tumor, it will look different in the eyes. Wow. It's just loaded with information. Wow. That's really amazing. It is. We're, we're going to mm -hmm. talk about a very specific thing today, but I think mm -hmm. um, just all of these other things that you just mentioned that you can actually see in people's eyes. Okay, mm -hmm. now, okay. just sitting here looking in my eyes like this, can you tell me what's wrong with me? I can't <laughs> tell detail except that I know that the color of your eyes, you have blue eyes and brown eyed family. Mm -hmm. And that causes you to tend to have indigestion. I don't know if you have that, but that's a, a tendency with that type of eye color. Really? And you, you may have low blood sugar. Do you want me to stop there? No, but <laughs> that's, that's personal that's, you know information. What? That's actually true uh -huh. on both of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very well, interesting. Just the coloration gives you a lot of information. Now, I don't try to analyze someone's eyes having a conversation with them. I look at the you know, the expression in their eyes, unless something just jumps out at you. Okay, so when someone comes in to visit you, because uh -huh. mom and dad have both been to see you, mm -hmm. but I haven't. So what happens when someone comes in to see you? What do you do? Well, I ask them to fill out one little page that has their name and address. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I need, because your eyes tell everything that's happened to you physically and what sort of illnesses you've had. 
And then I photographed your eyes, about 12 or 15 photographs that are made with a camera that was designed just for this purpose. And we'll put them on the computer screen, blow it up really large so we can see the tiny red blood vessels and the fiber structure. And I'll tell you the genetics from each side of the family, what runs in the family. And sometimes it will be things, Amy, that you don't have, your parents don't have, but maybe great aunt Minnie had it. Or maybe you have a cousin that has that problem. But we come from such a long, complex line of people that, you know, the possibilities are there, but we don't develop Mm -hmm. them all. And we'll just go over it all. I spend an hour with each client, sometimes a little more, depending on the problem. And then we, if there is a problem that needs work or if they want help with it, I'll develop a plan for them, and they leave with all that information. If you enjoyed this clip, please feel free to check out the full version in the link located in the description panel below. Please be sure to subscribe to our channel. You can also connect with us on Facebook and Twitter. As always, help yourself to the diverse array of teachings located on this YouTube channel or on our website at glc.us.com.